As illustrated before, the US deployed numerous biology labs around the world, developed a massive biological weapons, and put these weapons in battlefields. Now, let us pay attention to the US mainland. Since the establishment of the biology lab in Fort Detrick, Maryland, research projects of highly dangerous biochemical weapons, such as Agent Orange and Anthrax, had never taken a break. In May 2019, COVID-19 virus was accidentally released during its aerosol transmission experiment in the Fort Detrick lab. Many in the fort were infected and self-quarantined. However, the virus had not been under control until June, and its transmission reached the public areas of Maryland. CBC News has learned that months before being escorted out of Canada's highest security microbiology lab, federal scientist Jian Go Chu sent 30 vials of 15 different strains of Ebola and Henipa virus to Wuhan, China. During this time, Dr. Xiang Guochu, a Chinese-Canadian scientist of Canadian National Microbiology Laboratory, along with her husband, Ke Ding Cheng, learned the virus release incident. The couple knew very well that it would be difficult to control the virus, so they plan on taking similar virus samples to China to develop vaccines. The CIA monitored the couple's communications and notified the Royal Canadian Mounted Police RCMP, of the plan. Dr. Chu and her husband were secretly arrested by the RCMP. In July 2019, the US CDC claimed that Fort Detrick was closed due to emergencies caused by wastewater purification. At the same time, a wide range epidemic of an unknown pneumonia in the domestic US was discovered by the CDC, and patients had clear lung fibrosis. The CDC made use of an inaccurate research from the British Medical Journal and named the epidemic as e cigarette pneumonia. After October 1st, 2019, there have been a total of 1,080 confirmed severe e cigarette pneumonia cases and there were 2,500 asymptomatic carriers, and the actual number of infections in the society surpassed 10,000. Mild cases were called flu. In retrospect, COVID-19 symptoms have a high degree of similarity to those of e-cigarette pneumonia at that time. In September 2019, the U.S. military assembled its elite athletes around the nation to Maryland to train and prepare for the World Military Games in Wuhan, China. Yet some of these soldier athletes contracted COVID-19 and became asymptomatic carriers. In October 2019, with the CIA's coordination, the U.S. commissioned a third-party institution to organize a COVID-19 prevention drill which aimed to assess the subsequent influence of the virus. On October 18, 2019, the U.S. held an epidemic virus prevention drill code named Event 201. On the same day, the Royal Military Games began in Wuhan, China. Some asymptomatic carriers in the U.S. military became sick during the games, and they were imminently transported back to the U.S. through private planes. In this process, the patient zero in Wuhan was infected. It is worth noting that during the period from October 2019 to February 2020, when the U.S. had its first confirmed case of COVID-19, a severe flu epidemic outbreak in the U.S., the total number of the flu infections surpassed 26 million. At least 250,000 people were hospitalized due to complications caused by the flu and there were at least 14,000 deaths. How many of these people were misdiagnosed with flu? Coincidentally, as confirmed cases of COVID-19 rose in the US, the previous flu epidemic disappeared from the scene. Was this really a coincidence? How many of these flu patients were infected with COVID-19?